Hey, what's up, number four, uh, the podcast, we're the cast, the bladder cast, we're going to keep it fucking going every single day if we can, but probably not going to do it every single day, it's definitely going to be every third day, and we're going to uh, have some fun with it, I'm, I'm enjoying doing these, I love talking, I love uh, thinking, I love, uh, I'm going to love looking back at these and uh, studying myself and uh, having a lot to say, I do have a lot to say because I'm a human being and I've been on this earth for 22 years, a bit more than 22 years actually and I'm going to be on this earth for a lot longer and I've got a uh, life to live and I've got people to help and uh, stuff to achieve, uh, hopefully, uh, all going well, like I uh, don't get uh, into some sort of uh, in, um, miracle Christmas injury where profiteroles and Christmas pudding somehow uh, gets uh, into replacing my organs and I have to uh, I'm not making sense with what I'm saying I'm, I'm very uh, talking about putting words in front of other words uh, n- not, not funny N- no joking you need to shut this fucking life support off Someone come and cat me already. I've lived too long. I've dealt with this shit for too long, man. And I ain't getting paid for doing this. What kind of joke is this? What kind of girl is looking down at me and saying, Fuck you, bitch. Fucking hell. I'm inside the garage. And I'm hoping to... uh, Whatever uh, mythical uh, god being uh, that there is that uh, no one comes and looks at me. Because I will die with fright. I will swoon, I will tumble backwards, and my pants and socks will fling off, and everyone will see my bare feet, and Quentin Tarantino is gonna jizz IMAX, climax, put it on IMAX, he's gonna fucking cream pie himself in his fucking tight little Quentin Tarantino pussy, and fucking I love his films, I love his films, I love every single one of his films, I haven't watched all of Four Rooms, but I still liked it. I uh, even liked his uh, little bit in uh, uh, Sin City by Robert Rodriguez and by Frank Miller as well. I, can, I love stuff like that. It's very interesting. I need to fucking have a look at people are opening doors and stuff and trying to have a look at me. I've got some very nosy people that I'm residing with. I've got some very curious motherfuckers that always like to listen and always like to peer into what I'm doing, uh, supposedly. It hasn't been proven. I've heard stories. I've seen glimpses of people uh, looking at me from since I was a child, checking up on me, checking if I'm okay. I am the ultimate uh, package of all, so I'm grateful that that's... Uh, nah, fucking hell, am I the ultimate package? I'm uh, on a power trip, and I got no power, and I got no money, and I got nothing. And uh, it's nice and chilly. And uh, life is actually uh, not bad. Life could be better. Everything could be better, I guess. Uh, You could be younger. You could be uh, wanting to be happier. You could want to have a wife with bigger tits. You could want to have your boyfriend have a bigger dick that reaches all the way into your pussy. But I'm happy. I'm actually quaint right now. Uh, it's not been easy to this point, but it's not been uh, super hard either. I'm still lucid, i still got all my faculties, allegedly, and I, I'm not in jail, I haven't got any uh, children, allegedly, and I haven't uh, been uh, screwing up too much, and I haven't met, uh, I've met a bunch of screwed up people. Like uh, this one guy who was homeless and he uh, just fucking attacked me out of nowhere. He just ran at me and uh, started, uh, this was ages ago when I was sleeping outside. He ran at me and he started uh, shouting and I just had to fucking get out of there quick. And then he kind of left me alone. He's a bit of a loony motherfucker. And uh, he wanted uh, my five pound. He wanted five dollars from me. He wanted five pounds. And uh, the story goes, I actually did give him five pounds. 
I gave him five pounds and uh, he uh, didn't want more. But then I started talking to him. Uh, big mistake. Then he uh, chased me, which was actually pretty funny when I think about it. But like he could have had AIDS and he could have bit me like a zombie. And then I would have been uh, the AIDS zombie that I'm speaking to you right now. Uh, AIDS boy, no thanks. I don't need that shit. I don't need any sexually transmitted diseases or any of that shit. Keep that away from me. I'd like to talk about some Quentin Tarantino films. Uh, Inglorious Bastards was uh, mwah, masterpiece. Uh, what else? Hateful Eight. Mwah, it's a masterpiece. Turn that into a stage play already. Come on. He said he wanted to do it. Let's do it. Uh, turn it into a musical. And I wanted more scenes outside. I liked uh, the stagecoach scenes and I, I liked everything. I wanted more Blizzard, more kind of the thing uh, where they're trapped outside and where it's just teal and uh, snow blowing and the wind blowing and all the sexy ladies blowing. Uh, fucking hell. But Glorious Bastards, Masterpiece. Uh, can you get to that guy? Well, I got to. I like that. I love that scene. In it. I love the whole bunch of scenes. I love the start with uh, 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 guitar playing uh, a, a film, a music that's usually paired with um, uh, westerns. Yeah, Quentin Tarantino loved uh, Ario Maricone, Maricone, didn't he? And uh, uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly. I, I heard that he loves that film. Uh, I, I liked uh, Quentin Tarantino's uh, view on Danny Boyle's uh, Sun, is it Starlight or Sunlight? I really like that film. In terms of a sci-fi film, that film is amazing. It's, uh, I, it, it got the crew together, it got uh, the Mad Russian, and it got uh, the sunlight that uh, burned people away into uh, dust, and uh, that Asian woman, Milf, was sexy, damn, uh, and uh, she got stabbed. I I, I thought it was uh, horror. Uh, I thought it was uh, sci-fi. I thought it was uh, thriller. I thought it was action. A lot of things in in that film. Amazing film. Um, I'm gonna blow past uh, Inglorious Bastards. Uh, Hateful Eight. Ooh, Hateful Eight. You've already seen on one of my videos me uh, uh, reenacting the scene of uh, Samuel Jackson who had to play the dirtiest uh, uh, house. Uh, uh, the black guy who runs the house. The uh, slave, uh, the top slave house uh, guy. He played it dirty. He played it fucking dirty. And he played it. He played it so cool as well. Like the the character had layers. So at the end, when he stands up and he's not crooked, and he stands up and he starts talking lucidly uh, to Django, uh, uh, it's he knew that he was gonna die. And then uh, his maniacal laughing and uh, believing that he's better than everyone. I'm just checking the time. Uh, don't mind me zooming in. Fucking. Uh, I'm going to have a shadow over my face. Come on, let's get some light on this beauty. Keep on calling myself beauty. You got to. I got to, man. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to let things get me down. Never going to give you up. No matter how hard I try. Never going to give you up. So baby, don't you leave me. Mammy number dead. And then don't you understand. What you're doing to the man. I fucking love um, Black Keys. Wow. They're great. Every album. Fucking every album. You, you can say that it's uh, more uh, modernized now. And it's more... Uh... Don't you just love that ruining the audio? Stupid fucking ape brain. Mm. Uh, pussy. Uh, cock. Uh, money. Uh, Blackies are fucking sexy as fuck. Love them. Every, they can't go wrong. And then Dan's uh, albums as well. I think he put out more than one now. Fucking great. Uh, Weird Al Yalkovic. I've listened to uh, his Oingo Boingo parody. Yes. 
Yes is all I've got to say to that. More, please. I hear the fat song. I'm fat. I am. But uh, that was funny. That was good. Uh, Michael Jackson. Damn. Why did he have to uh, come out as a pedophile? You know, you can't take away his achievements. Like, uh, Kevin... Who, who's a, the who's a guy who, uh, in Seven, played... Uh, uh, the uh, evil guy, the serial killer with the seven deadly sins. Uh, Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey in House of Cards. House of Cards fell down when Kevin Spacey left. <laughs> I made a joke. <laughs> uh, fucking, uh, <laughs> fucking racism. No. Uh, what am I going to say about the Chinese? Ting tong tao. Fucking, what am I going to say about the Indonesians? Uh, mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I don't want to get killed by those ISIS people. Uh, what am I going to say about white people? White people like to eat grapes and they drink juice. I stole that joke. Uh, they uh, drink juice when black people drink drank. And uh, what do white people do all the time? Uh, secret societies, um, always complaining, like me. <laughs> Fucking crazy. Not crazy, just uh, controlled uh, craziness and entertainment. Let me put my glasses on. I gotta get my glasses. Uh, Quentin Tarantino's films, Django Unchained, so many amazing scenes in that. I love the story. It's uh, easy. I love it. I love uh, the Runaway R as well. Uh, I love that uh, he his back's torn and to pieces. The scene in uh, Steve McQueen, the black Steve McQueen's, uh, ooh, uh, Twelve Years a Slave. Uh, where the woman was getting her back uh, torn apart in a single uh, shot. It looked like a single shot. It's probably blended uh, uh, together. Wow. And talking about single shot films that are blended together. Bird, uh, Birdman or The Unexpected Virtues of Ignorance, that, that film with Edward Norton coming back like he did in Fight Club. Uh, and uh, the guy who played Beetlejuice. <laughs> I forgot his name. Uh, that's a fucking amazing film by Alejandro not Jodrowski even though he's made some fucking fantastic films Alejandro something G uh, Alejandro G something he made The Revenant as well which was mwah, 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 uh, mwah, kissing an exploding arsehole thank you Louis CK uh, do I think that what he did was bad I don't know uh, no, I think uh, I've heard of a lot worse things. He only said that he was going to do it, or did he actually do it? Like uh, whip his uh, little ding dong out, whip his little schmeckle out in front of uh, people, whip his uh, minuscule white dick out in front of those ladies and start masturbating in front of them. I don't know. Uh, who knows? Maybe they could be making it up. Uh, there's two people against one bow, so who who knows? It's a conspiracy. Like Pizzagate, it's all a conspiracy. Ooh. Alex Jones, save me. He's going to come busting through that window right behind me. And he's going to he's been looking at me this whole time through uh, the sky, uh, skies done by uh, FEMA. And uh, what is it? M MK Ultra. I'm an MK Ultra. Uh, I'm an MK Ultra. Fucking Nazi salute as well, even though. Oh, fuck. I fucked myself. Don't click, don't uh, do a picture of that. Like, <laughs> oh fuck, I'm screwed. Uh, I'm so screwed. Don't screw me. Uh, I want to be wine and dine before you screw me. Another one. Another one. Come on, DJ Kelly. This is my my pussy. Don't, or I'll beat your ass. Fucking, uh, it's a mad train. We're going down. We're going down, downtown. I'm gonna uh, rip them open. Nah. Who wants to fuck this boy? Nobody. Fucking rightfully so. I'm a fucking mad cunt. Don't need any of that shit. And I don't need... Uh, I, I, at, at the moment right now, I'm quaint. I don't need other people in my life. I don't need a sexual partners. Uh, fucking... Uh, my libido is under control. And uh, I've been told that I don't have an ego. I do! I keep it uh, way down deep, fucking hell, way down deep in the undertow. And every second I wake, 
uh, again. We're going to uh, be quiet for a little bit. Ruin the podcast. We're going to clip these audios and it's going to be quietness. Uh, what do I do with my time? What do I enjoy? I enjoy making people laugh and I enjoy uh, making people happy and entertainment. But uh, I'm not good with crowds. As in, I can stand in front of a crowd and I can dance and shake my stuff and all that. But I don't like uh, fucking... When I have to talk to a bunch of people, I'm not like a gay's gay. I'm more of a one-to-one person. I like to get into a deep conversation. I like to... uh, I I am a bit too... What is it? When you're too uh, 100%. Uh, that's not good. People don't like that. People want nice, chilled uh, conversations and uh, arguments sometimes. We all love to argue, don't lie. It makes us feel like uh, uh, we're wasting our time well and learning something and gives us some energy. Keep people in our lives that we don't need just so we can argue with them. And it's fun. That's all it doesn't become fun. Friends are just enemies you haven't made yet. <laughs> I was going to say it again quicker, but I swapped that to a thread at a bar. So there you go. What else? Nothing. We are stardust. It was all a mistake. He dropped a little drop of jism into the universe, and we were all born. And who was that? The creator. Ed Snowden. Not the Ed Snowden that you know. The Ed Snowden that created the universe. Uh, Don't worry, join my call. I'll tell you all about it. £10,000, please. Like that. Uh, What would you do for £10,000? I want to sell my orifices for £10,000. I'll tell you that. But uh, for £10,001? I can't see it. (laughs) <laughs> Go crazy. Go stupid. Remember that black guy. Ooh. The scooter do Bobby de boo. Oh, I'm having some fun with this. I love uh, uh, making these. I actually really do. I'm going to get up to uh, doing them for an hour and I'm going to go over the same points over and over and over again, but I'm going to not even give a shit because. I want to make people laugh. I wouldn't mind reading some comments, uh, like uh, scrolling by uh, fucking the Big Free podcast. Big Free! Remember with Perry Caravello? If you haven't seen that, and oh damn, you need to watch Windy City Heat. Windy City Heat is one of the greatest uh, comedies ever made. It really is. Uh, what else has Quentin Tarantino done? Jackie Brown? I think he was uh, the most adult film that he did uh, but people didn't like it so he went back to making the funky stuff even though it's it's all adult stuff but it was the more kind of uh, Hollywood film that he made Jackie Brown he uh, uh, Reservoir Dogs I'm, I'm never going to forget that one wow Reservoir Dogs wow and when he put himself in it as well that was cool the, the scene where uh, uh, Mr. Pink was dancing around with the razor blade. Uh, clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with you. And he was, uh, and he cut that guy's ear off. They didn't show it, but a lot of people think that they did. And uh, that shows that uh, human beings cannot be trusted. We should all be evaporated. Aliens, come down and save my soul. And blast away all these dirty apes. Damn dirty ape. <laughs> Nothing but scum. I did what your Romero couldn't do in uh, fifth, uh, in ten rounds. I did it in two. Allegedly, remember Adi, uh, Israel uh, getting his uh, blue belt in five years gives me hope. Is like when five years comes up, I'll probably get my fucking blue belt too. Uh, Jiu Jitsu. Ah, I finally did some uh, BJJ Brazilian Jiu Jitsu today. After a while, after like a week, and fuck me, is it good? It's good. It's nice. It's nice to just flow and uh, uh, get to spar with some really fucking good guys as well. Brown belts, uh, uh, like a 
uh, a Brazilian guy. Uh, I'm not naming names. I'm not a rat. Damn you. Damn the police. The police do nothing for me. I wouldn't mind having the police to back me up if someone was stabbing the fuck out of me, though. I wouldn't mind that. I'm, I got no hate for the police. They deal with a lot of cunts. They're, uh, some good guys, but... Uh, some good guys, mostly good guys and girls. Mm. Don't be smoking weed around them, though, or they'll slap that out of your hand and they'll cuff you. Looking like, don't over precinct with ya, sonny boy. Don't call me sonny boy, I'm a grown man. Ooh, don't slap my pussy either, please. Rape, rape, rape. Uh, it's, not, it's not good to make fun of rape. It's, uh, but then again, like, uh, is is uh, whining about something that... Well, is it mentally scarring? How mentally scarring is it? Because as you're not paying to fuck that person. You're forcefully uh, fucking them. And uh, you're doing mental damage to them because uh, now they have to do this for the rest of their life. But how much of it is hyped up so that they can get attention, compensation, uh, people feeling sorry for them? And how much does it actually mentally affect? And is it worth throwing people's lives away because they had uh, one uh, uh, rape? I guess the answer to that is yes. It is, uh, you have to keep uh, those people away from the general public because they've stepped past the line of society and uh, rape is not good because it's uh, animal basic instincts. And uh, if we all did that, then uh, we wouldn't have a society, we wouldn't have a civilization. And uh, it, it depends. Some people can deal with rape, some people have their rape babies, some people cannot deal with it, some people kill themselves, some people go into psychosis. Uh, but a lot of people are put in prison as well for even sexual uh, assault, which could be slapping someone's ass Stepping a sexy female's ass or a sexy man's ass. And, uh, you, you know, the world is the way that it is. And don't break the rules if you want to be cool and dandy and fine. The Yankee Doodle Dandy do. If I can remember last time when I did a Yankee Doodle D. I'm not going to do a song this time. I've already done two. Uh, what other films has Quentin Tarantino done? Uh, my friend, my friend's birthday. Uh, I haven't watched uh, that all the way through, but I remember him talking about uh, suicide as a child, and he, he wrote that, he filmed it. It's cool. It's cool to see uh, the progression. Uh, some of his performances as well in Desperado. Yeah, Desperado. I liked his character. His character was pretty shit, but fuck it. And um, the, the one with uh, Dust Till Dawn. Yes! Yes, when he was sucking on, when he was sucking on them feet. When he was uh, doing that, when he was being uh, a psychopath, I think he's cool as a psychopath, man. He's he's a bit older now, and he's having a child, isn't he? He uh, talked about how he wanted to have a child, and uh, he's finally having one uh, with the singer. And uh, man, I'm I'm not I I don't stalk this guy. I don't uh, look up on him. Uh, I think he's a really fucking cool guy, and he's given me so much inspiration as uh, a wannabe. Uh, director in the future uh, I, I'm intrigued by him I really am I'm infatuated by him but I don't want to eat out his ass come on guys please don't say Quentin Tarantino ass eater in the comment sections or do I'll find you and I'll uh, show you that I don't eat ass by eating your ass and then I'll say I don't eat it I uh, I'm going nowhere uh, but up. We're going up. We're going up to the top in a uh, yellow uh, submarine. And we're going to be in the up uh, house with the balloons. And I'm going to be shooting the balloons down laughing. And the old guy is going to be saying, don't do it. Don't do it, man. We're going down in this motherfucker. And I'm going to kick his ass out. Uh, but like 10 feet above the ground. And he's still going to snap his back. Because that's what happens when you get older. You get brittle. Uh, <laughs> this is going to take ages to upload. 25 minutes takes so long to upload on YouTube. 
uh, what kind of technology have we got going? Or is that just so many people uploading that it needs to be that slow? Ooh, technology. War uh, makes technology go faster. And uh, medical technology, everything. Man, I, I enjoyed doing this. I enjoyed talking. And I hope you enjoyed listening to me. And I hope uh, that you uh, get a cream pie if you want a cream pie. And I hope that you uh, have a nice time and a nice life. Uh, I've talked about uh, some things. Nothing really in the grand scheme of things. And in the grand scheme of things, my life is a... Uh, and bye. Dead. Uh, would, uh, will I be dead before anyone even knows uh, who I am? I doubt it. Because I'm a mad motherfucker and I need attention because I had a lack of attention throughout uh, my childhood. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be grabbing that shit whenever I can, clawing at it, uh, jumping at it, hoping for it, wanting it. And I'm not talking about the dick. I'm talking about the fame. Even though fame is an illusion, which is what Will Sasso says. Thank you, Will Sasso. Ten minute podcast. Damn. Ah, uh, fuck. Bring back the ten minute podcast. Bring back so many things. Don't bring back Hitler, though, because people don't like him. If Hitler wasn't around, if Hitler wasn't there, would it have been someone else? Is it, uh, is it like, and Genghis Khan as well. Would it, they have been different people in a different timeline? Would it have been in 20 years later, or would it have never happened? Who knows? Is it like uh, the planets, everything has to align to create these... Uh, maniacal uh, individuals who destroy worlds and create worlds and uh, spread their seed to everyone, even though Hitler was a bit of a pedophile, wasn't he? When uh, though they say they say he is, like uh, it could all be fake. Uh, he must have been an interesting guy. Uh, he must have been a little uh, mad as well. Fucking, he really liked that dog. Uh, I wonder what it'd be like if he uh, would have been a painter. Instead, that's something about him painting. I know things. I got things in this big brain. This big, uh, semi-useless um, monkey brain. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I want to end this good. I love doing this. I love it. I love it. And if you love me too, then kiss me, baby. Kiss me, baby, one last time before I go. And then uh, Jack uh, drips down into uh, the great depths and uh, uh, fuck all the women in the Titanic. Save the men. Save the people that actually matter. I mean, come on, get those women back in those kitchens, right? No, I'm only joking. I'm only joking. And that's why I'll be screwed for all my life because I love joking, I love being a clown. A lot of people don't like that. If you hadn't noticed me hiding, I'm not hiding, I'm having fun. Is that something peeping up there? Woo! Bye bye. Uh, trick ya. <laughs> no, trick you again. Okay, see ya.